Beneath the veil of history, shrouded in the mists of time, lie secrets that have whispered through the ages. Tales of lost civilizations, enigmatic relics, and cryptic texts that defy explanation. What truths do these mysteries hold? Are they keys to understanding our past or puzzles that will forever challenge the limits of our knowledge? Today, we step into the unknown to unravel tales so mysterious. They've puzzled scholars for generations, from the depths of the ocean to the heights of the ancient pyramids. Join us as we embark on a journey to uncover 10 mysteries. Prepare to be transported into a world of intrigue and discovery, where each artifact whispers tales of a past waiting to be understood. Are you ready to challenge what you know, to question the unexplained, and delve into the mysteries of our world? Then let the journey begin. But before we get moving, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. In 1901, off the coast of Antikythera, a device that would baffle the modern mind was discovered amidst an ancient shipwreck. Known as the Antikythera Mechanism, this intricate bronze artifact, dated to around 100 BC, astounds scientists with its sophistication. Consisting of over 30 meshing bronze gears, it's considered the world's first analog computer, designed to predict astronomical positions and eclipses with a remarkable accuracy. What makes the mechanism truly extraordinary is its demonstration of the ancient Greeks' advanced understanding of celestial movements long before the advent of modern technology. It challenges our perceptions of ancient scientific capabilities, serving as a tangible link to the past's ingenuity. The Antikythera mechanism is not just an artifact, it's a testament to the genius lost to time, only to be rediscovered as a key to unlocking the ancient's grasp of the cosmos. Discovered in 1912 by Wilfred Voynich, the Voynich Manuscript is a baffling codex that dates back to the 15th century. Written in an unknown language or script, its pages are filled with peculiar diagrams, illustrations of non-existent plants, and astronomical charts that align with no known constellations. Despite the best efforts of cryptographers, including those who cracked the Enigma Code in World War II, its contents remain a profound mystery. The manuscript is named after Voynich, but its true origins and purpose are lost to history. Scholars have speculated that it could be anything from a medical text to an alchemical manual or even a hoax. However, recent studies suggest the manuscript may hold genuine information, encoded in a sophisticated cipher or an extinct language. Its allure not only lies in the challenge it poses to linguists and codebreakers, but also in the window it offers into medieval Europe's scientific and mystical thoughts. The Voynich Manuscript endures as one of history's most intriguing puzzles. Make sure to subscribe and press the like button to join our community of history enthusiasts. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. Carved into the Peruvian desert over a thousand years ago, the Nazca Lines remain one of archaeology's most enigmatic wonders. These geoglyphs, large designs etched into the ground, depict a range of figures, from simple lines and geometric shapes to intricate representations of animals and plants. Visible only from the air, their purpose has puzzled experts for decades. Some theories suggest they served as astronomical calendars or were part of rituals to summon water. Recent research proposes they may mark sacred paths, aligning with the stars. The lines were created by removing the reddish-brown iron, oxide-coated pebbles that cover the surface of the Nazca Desert revealing the light-colored earth beneath. This contrast creates the striking images we see today. Despite extensive study, the true intent behind the Nazca Lines continues to be a subject of speculation and wonder, highlighting the ingenuity and mystery of ancient cultures. Unearthed in southeastern Turkey, Gobekli Tepe challenges our understanding of human history. Dating back to the 10th millennium BC, this site predates Stonehenge by over 6,000 years, making it the world's first known temple. Its circular structures, adorned with massive stone pillars carved with animal figures, suggest a sophistication previously unknown in Neolithic societies. 
The purpose of Gobekli Tepe remains a subject of intense debate among archaeologists. Some believe it was a site of ritual significance, a gathering place for pre-agricultural communities to perform spiritual ceremonies. Others theorize it could represent an astronomical observatory. Remarkably, this monumental site was intentionally buried around 8000 BC, for reasons that are still unclear. Gobekli Tepe's discovery has revolutionized our understanding of the Neolithic era, indicating that complex religious and social activities occurred much earlier than previously thought. In 1974, farmers near Xi'an, China, stumbled upon one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of the 20th century, the Terracotta Army. This formidable collection of over 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots, and 670 horses guards the tomb of Qin Shi Huang, China's first emperor, who reigned from 221 to 210 BC. Crafted with meticulous detail, each figure is unique, portraying varied facial expressions, hairstyles, and even ranks, reflecting the emperor's vast army. This underground battalion, buried with Qin Shi Huang, was intended to protect him in the afterlife, a testament to his belief in immortality and the afterlife's realities. The discovery of the Terracotta Army has provided invaluable insights into ancient Chinese art, military formation, and the Qin Dynasty's craftsmanship. Yet, the tomb itself remains unopened, preserving its mysteries and the Emperor's final resting place. Discovered between 1947 and 1956 in the caves near the Dead Sea, the Dead Sea Scrolls are among the most significant archaeological finds of the 20th century. Comprising thousands of fragments from over 900 manuscripts, including the oldest known copies of the Hebrew Bible, they offer unprecedented insight into the religious life of ancient Judea. Dating from the 3rd century BCE to the 1st century CE, the scrolls include texts on Jewish law, ethics, rituals, and apocalyptic visions, highlighting the diversity of Jewish thought and practice during the Second Temple period. The scroll's discovery has shed light on the development of the Hebrew Bible and the origins of Christianity and Rabbinic Judaism. Despite extensive study, the authors of the scrolls, believed to be a Jewish sect called the Essens, and the reasons for their deposit in the caves remain subjects of intense academic debate. Among the Dead Sea Scrolls, one artifact stands out for its material and content, the Copper Scroll. Discovered in 1952 in Cave 3 near Qumran, this scroll diverges from the religious texts typically associated with the collection. Instead, it lists over 60 locations where significant treasures of gold and silver are said to be hidden. Written in a Hebrew different from that of the other scrolls, its content has fueled speculation and treasure hunts for decades. Scholars debate whether the treasures are real or symbolic, and if real, whether they were hidden to protect them from Roman conquest. Despite numerous expeditions, none of the listed treasures have been found, leading to more questions about the scroll's purpose. Was it a real guide to hidden wealth, or a detailed inventory for temple riches lost in history? The Copper Scroll remains one of history's tantalizing mysteries, a metal document offering clues to a fortune yet undiscovered. High above Cusco, Peru, the fortress of Sacsayhuaman stands as a testament to the Inca Empire's architectural genius. Constructed in the 15th century, this complex is famed for its massive limestone blocks, some weighing over 200 tons, fitted together with unparalleled precision. Without the use of mortar, these stones have withstood earthquakes, remaining tightly locked after centuries. The exact methods used to transport and carve these stones remain a topic of debate among historians and archaeologists. Saksai Huaman's strategic location and design suggest it served both as a military stronghold and a ceremonial site. Its zigzagging walls are believed to represent the teeth of a puma, symbolizing the power of the Inca. Today, Sacsayhuaman captivates visitors with its engineering marvels, standing as a silent witness to the ingenuity of a civilization that flourished in the Andes. The library of Ashurbanipal, unearthed in the ruins of Nineveh, modern-day Mosul, Iraq, is the oldest known library in the world, dating back to the 7th century BCE. Named after Ashurbanipal, 
the last great king of the Assyrian Empire. It contained over 30,000 clay tablets and fragments. These tablets, inscribed in Akkadian cuneiform, encompass a vast array of knowledge from the ancient world, including literature, medicine, astrology, and law. Among its treasures is the Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the earliest known works of literary fiction. This library not only highlights Ashurbanipal's dedication to collecting texts from across his empire, but also provides invaluable insights into Mesopotamian culture, society, and the spread of knowledge in the ancient Near East. The discovery of this library has been pivotal in understanding ancient Assyrian civilization and its contributions to human history. In the 1980s, a discovery in Sichuan Province, China, would rewrite the history of ancient Chinese civilization. The Sanxingdui site, dating back to the 12th-11th centuries BCE, revealed a treasure trove of artifacts unlike any found before. Among these were monumental bronze sculptures, intricate jade pieces, and gold masks, pointing to a sophisticated and previously unknown Bronze Age culture. The craftsmanship of the Sanjingdui artifacts, especially the bronze figures with their distinctive, exaggerated features, challenges our understanding of ancient Chinese art and ritual. The site suggests a complex society with advanced metallurgical skills and religious practices distinct from the contemporary Shang Dynasty. The mystery deepens with the absence of written records, leaving the identity and fate of this civilization largely speculative. These mysteries, embedded in the fabric of our past, remind us that history is not just a story of what was, but a puzzle of what might be. As we close this chapter of Mysteries Unearthed, we are reminded that the search for understanding is never-ending. What secrets will the next discovery reveal? If you're intrigued by the mysteries of our past, subscribe for more journeys into history's deepest enigmas and hit that bell icon. Until next time, keep seeking the unknown.